Hello everybody, my name is Henry and I am a Kiwi Ken leader from the Bay of Plenty. Today, I thought I would teach you guys how to play a musical instrument called the ukulele. Now, for some of you, you may not have a musical instrument or a ukulele at home. That's perfectly fine because right at the end of this video, I'm going to set a challenge for you all that you all should be able to do in your house. But for those of you that have a ukulele, that's really cool. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the four basic chords that you can learn on a ukulele. And we're also going to learn quickly how to strum on a ukulele. Because some people find it really hard. So I might give you a couple tips of how you might be able to strum yourself. So let's get into it, shall we? <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to play a C chord, which should sound something like this. And we're also going to learn how to play A minor. And we're going to learn how to play F. And we're also going to learn, which is probably the trickiest chord of all out of the four, which is a G chord. Yeah. So, let's start off then, shall we? First of all, I'm going to tell, teach you how to play a C chord. C chord's really easy to play, just like an A minor, but we're going to start with the C first. So what's going to happen is you're going to grab your left hand, and you're going to grab your biggest finger on your left hand, which is my ring finger, because I have a ring on it. So, what we're going to do from there is we're going to put our big finger on the third row, and we're going to stick it, as you can see, first row, second row, third row, and we're going to stick it right on the bottom string in the middle between these two little steel lines here. Okay? And you put them in the middle like that, and you push down, and if you strum, you might be able to hear a sound like that. Cool. So that's a C chord. C chord, really easy to play. Another easy chord to play will be our A minor. Now A minor is you're going to use that same finger again, but this time you're going to bring it up to the top one here, and then you're going to zoom it just across to the second lot of lines. Okay? And then, if you hold it together and you push down really hard, it's going to sound something like this. A little bit sad. But hey, that's all good. So if you have a look here, the second row, one, two, and you're going to put your big finger on the top on the top string right here. And then you play. It might sound a little bit sad, but that's okay. Now, we're going to move on to our third chord, which is our F chord. Now, our F chord, for this, you need to be in our A minor position, which is the top one like this, and you're going to use this finger here, and you're going to put your finger on the third from the top downwards, so you're going to put your finger on the third string right at the top there. Do you see that? If you have a look, so you're going to put it on this one here. Second to last chord right there. You're going to put it right there, okay? And then you're going to move your big finger back at the top in the A minor position, but with that added index finger, you're going to strum. It's going to sound a little bit something like that. So let's reiterate, show. So we've got a C chord, which is our bottom one right here. And then we've got our A minor, which is right at the top there. And we've got our F chord, which is our A minor combined with our index finger going to the second to last string at the bottom there. Now we're going to learn how to play probably one of the trickiest simple chords to play out of the four, and that is a G chord. I call a G chord an upside down triangle because I have a picture that can I show you that looks like an upside down triangle. If you have a look there, so the black dots indicates where you put your fingers. So let's have a look, shall we? So first of all, I want you to put your index finger on the bottom string. All right. Once you've done that, you need to hold it right there because you're going to grab your middle finger, my ring finger again, and you're going to stick that not not the chord, not the string. That's right, next to it, you're going to move over and you're going to put it there. So then you've got a free string in between the two strings there. So if you have a look, you put this one here and you put that one there. Right, just over one string. And so there should be a string, which is this one here, going straight in between your fingers. And then you're going to use this finger here, the second biggest finger, and you're going to stick it on that string that's going in between the two fingers. And then, you can't see this very clearly, but it makes an upside down triangle because there's two fingers at the top and one finger at the bottom. But look, it makes an upside down triangle. And it should sound something like this. Cool. So, 
Let's try that again, shall we? So remember, index finger goes right there at the bottom, goes at the bottom string, and then we're going to bring our big finger, and it's going to not go on the not not on the string next to it. It's going to jump over, so that string is going straight in between those two fingers. And you're going to hold it there, hold it there, and then you're going to put that little finger, this one here, right this one here, and that's going to go in between those two there, and then you're going to strum. So those are the four basic chords, so let's go again, shall we? Let's try this again. So remember C, which is a really easy one to play, C, holding it down like that, and then an A minor, which is just up here. We have a look right at the top on our second row of lines, and that sounds a bit sad. And then we're going to play our F chord, which remember is our A minor still, but this time you're going to move this finger, and you're going to put it on the second to last line at the top right at the top bar. We're going to strum. And then our G chord, which is our upside down triangle. So if you remember, you start with your index finger there, you grab your big finger and you jump over one line until you go second to the top, right there. You can see this one is moving as well and you see that one moving as well. And then you can grab your second largest and you put that in between the chords there, which is an upside down triangle and it should sound So those are the four chords. Now, you're not going to get them first try. If you do, that's amazing, that's brilliant. But if you don't get them first try, it does take a lot of practice and a lot of time for you to be able to put your fingers in those positions. Some of you may find it hard really first off, but if you keep practicing and practicing, I'm sure you'll be able to get it right. So we're going to quickly go over a strum. What I like to do is you can use your whole hand or you can use one finger, two fingers, or a thumb. You can use a thumb. Thumb's really easy to start off with. If you want to start off strumming really nice, you can hold maybe like a chord, like a C chord. Just brush your thumb over it, just to hear that. And then if you want to learn how to strum fast, you can do... For me personally, I use my index finger to strum. It's just so easier for me but everybody has their own way of strumming. So don't worry, you'll just have to figure out what is the most comfortable way for you to strum. And once you've done that, it'll be so much easier for you to be able to play. Ooh, that sounded a bit off. <laughs> but anyway, so those are the four chords and that's how you learn how to strum. Now, the challenge I want to set for you guys at home is I want you to look around your house and I want you to try and find a household object that could be made into a musical instrument. For example, I have a rubbish bin that I use at home. And I want you to find something like a rubbish bin or maybe a box. Or it could be something sturdy and hard like this. And I want you to video yourself making a really cool beat and a really cool rhythm. For example, I can show you something. Or, if you want to be really cool, you can try and beat along to one of your favorite songs, and if you post a video of it, we as an audience could try and guess what song you are playing. For example, everyone should know what song I'm going to play right now. It's... If you think you know the song, I want you to record a video of yourself telling me what you think that song is, but otherwise, that is the challenge I'm going to set out for you guys to post a video of yourself creating a really cool beat and a really cool rhythm using a household object that could be used to be a drum.